Hi, I'd like to introduce you to the all-new Daily Monster Monster Maker app for the iPhone and the iPad. And I'm going to show it to you on the iPad, because it's easier to see. And as with every Daily Monster, it starts with a drop of ink that you have to blow. And uh, if you wait for a little bit, it'll say tap to blow the ink, but you don't have to wait for that. That's just in case you're confused. I thought I'd send you some help. So let's blow the ink. And the first thing you can see is that obviously it spreads out on the paper and that it has that little r red dot there. And what the little red dot means is that the ink is selected. So you can move it around with your finger on the paper. And you can make it smaller, make it bigger, and you can also rotate it. And the way the rotation works best is touch both fingers, the index finger and middle finger I like, and um, keep your index finger on the glass and move it around with your middle finger like so. Go this way. And you can also uh, flip the ink around, so make sure that it's selected, and then press on the uh, side to side arrow, and you can flip it like that. Um, and if you don't like that ink blot, you can delete it, and you can go into the parts palette and select a new ink blot. There you go. And you can also have more than one. So. Let's see, let's put these two together, like so. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty nice. So, then the big thing here is that you have all these parts. So you have a bunch of eyes, dozens of eyes in fact, and uh, teeth, arms, wings, lots of pants, legs, uh, an assortment of fancy ties, uh, different hair options, an anchor tattoo, uh, some jewelry, shoes, bodies, and also some black shapes, uh, and some beaks and th things. And you can tap through those by, um, by tapping on the left and right arrows in the palette, or you can jump straight to the eyes, to the teeth, to the arms, to the legs, to the accessories, and to the bodies. And then within each section there are some more, uh, some more pages that you can only get to with the arrows. So let's pick an eye, first eye for this guy. And I like this one. And as you can see, we can scale it, put it there. And the second eye, so we can have stereoscopic vision. And we'll put that here. But maybe you don't want it on the front of the head. Maybe you want it in the back, so you select it. And then you press the down arrow, and then you can move it to the back. Uh, let's add a body. This one, for example, hook. Um, put it right here and then also move that into the background and position it here. Um, and as you can see is when you select it, it has the little scale arrows and the rotation arrows just to give you a cue and a clue that you can do that. So we'll leave it right here. And as you can also see, once the item is selected, you don't have to manipulate it on the thing. You can So your fingers, in other words, don't have to be where the body is. You can do all that stuff from anywhere on the drawing surface. So right now I'm happy with where the body is, and I tap on the paper, as you can see, to deselect. And then I'll add some pants, because that's important. We'll use these, rotate them, and put them right here, and then I'll move those down too. And then we'll give them some arms as well. We'll give them these. Okay. And rotate it around a little bit, and move it behind here. Uh, and then, for it to get the other arm, just press the flip button, if you indeed want them to be symmetrical. And then you can put it in the back here, so it goes behind the body. And right now he doesn't have a mouth. Not that he necessarily needs one, but let's give him one anyway. We'll make it kind of small, and we'll put it right here. And maybe we'll even give him some additional hair. Uh, let's see, I like this one, so he's kind of nice and jaunty. We'll put that back here, and you can sort of see it overlapping the eye there, and again, just put it in the background. I actually don't like it that much now that I see it, so I'm going to press X and delete it, and give him this hairstyle instead. Let's see, put that here to the back. And at this point you might want to save it. So you hit save. Uh, and the first thing that comes up is save to photo album. 
and that, you see the little check mark there saved, will now save this creature to your photo album and from there you can email it, you can do all kinds of stuff, um, but more about that later. Let's also uh, have him say something, this monster. So you press on the speech bubble here and you get all of a sudden the keyboard and you get a little text interface that already says hello world, but we're not in the world, we're on YouTube, so we're going to make it hello YouTube friend exclamation point done and so then that's in the speech bubble right here which I also would like to be in the foreground there you go and then I can scale the type up a little bit if I want and I can go into the bottom right corner and I can resize the speech bubble and then adjust the text however I like if you want to, if you want to go in and re-edit the text tap and hold and then you get your text box again and you can go back and I like to have an extra space between the last word and the exclamation point and then two spaces behind because that centers it better and that kind of stuff is important to me. So, again, if you want to get back into it, tap and hold and it'll come back up. Alright, so at this point I'm going to want to send that to one of my YouTube friends so I'm going to either put it into email, like so, in which case it'll pop up as an email window, um, or draft, I can also save it directly into a photo album on Facebook. And then all you have to do is log in, and you can put a little comment in, and then it'll appear uh, on your wall, or you can send it to a friend's wall. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can also post it on Twitter or on Tumblr. That's also in there. And you're saying, well, let's make him not have that speech bubble right now. Uh, maybe you want to have some color in here, or maybe you want to add something, you want to add some parts that um, I didn't pre-draw for you. So make sure that nothing is selected, and you can actually zoom in, uh, and with two fingers, scroll around. As you can see here, with one finger, doesn't do it. Two fingers, all of a sudden it does it. Um, and then you have a pen tool. And then you can either immediately draw, and it's set to this sort of little um, black pen, uh, and if you go really fast, you'll see that it's a little bit jaggedy at first, but it will, in fact, smooth itself out automatically, because it's the future. Um, if you don't like what you've drawn, just shake your tablet or shake your phone, and you can do undraw, undo draw line, uh, and you have to kind of really shake it a little bit. Um, and it has up to five steps of undo. Uh, and then you can go into the brush palette, and you can increase the size, uh, you can make it transparent, uh, you can also make it lighter and change the color if you up the saturation. So, let's see, so there all of a sudden you've got a big fat red brush, um, which is pretty nice. And maybe we can also make one that's a little bit transparent, and then you'll see as it goes over the drawing you can actually draw over it and in some cases under it, um, but I want to undo that now too, uh, but that is there, and there's also an eraser tool right here, so let's draw one more line, and then go to the eraser tool, which is basically a little whiteout brush, and you can go over there, and you can erase all that. Um, so that's the basic functionality, but there are also a few little hidden extras. Zoom out again, and you see what I just did there, just, uh, I just pinched it. So now you have your monster, and say you want to move it. Um, so you take three fingers, and you double tap with three fingers, and then you can move your entire monster around. You can't scale it at that point, because what will happen is it'll scale every individual part, which is actually in and of itself kind of fun, but doesn't necessarily get the job done if you want to move the monster around. So I'm going to move that back and then um, double tap with three fingers and you can move it around and then you can deselect by tapping anywhere on the paper. Uh, but you know there may be days where you don't have enough time to make your own monster and you just want to get to it in which case there's the red insta monster tab and you can see that it's throbbing and glowing at you there uh, so let's press that and it says adding an insta monster will delete everything else which is true so you have to confirm that and say yes delete all and add an insta monster.
let's do it. And then we have this guy. And maybe you don't like him, so you press the button again. And then you get this guy. Let's use him. Uh, and there are a number of them. Double tap with three fingers. We'll move them over a little bit. Because now we can do the very cool thing of taking a picture with the monster. Take picture. Now will load up the camera, and then I can point that. You can see that here at all, anywhere you like, and you can uh, you can pose the monster. Uh, in this case, with my very exciting desktop, um, and that's pretty nice. And you can also press this button, and then you can take. That's you right there being filmed, um, and then you can put yourself in there. Um, as you can see and you can pose yourself with the monster in this case I'm just going to do this to demo it for you um, and then just press the button here and now you've got a monster with a photo hopefully with you or your friends and again double tap with three fingers so you can position the monster exactly where you want it on the photo if maybe um, it's a little bit out of alignment with what you'd hoped or you can also tap on the photo itself and you can rotate that and you can also undo that if that rotation is not what you want it um, and you can scale it you can move it around, move it to the left or the right or you can also delete it uh, and you can choose a photo from your photo library uh, or from a saved photo album uh, so if somebody sends you a photo that you want to monsterize you can do that too and if you have questions about all or any of this, um, there's the little blue help button down here. Press that, and then it gives you all the uh, different functionalities explained. Uh, tells you about the three-finger swipe and the pinch and the rotate. Um, so it has all that. So there you have it. Um, welcome to the Daily Monster Monster Maker app, which you can now get at tinyearl.com slash daily monster app and that link is also in the description for this video I hope you like it, I hope you play around with it and I hope uh, that a million monsters bloom thank you so much for your time